Hi, I'm Gabe and welcome to the GRYC 2015 Rigging Guide for our club lasers. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is choose our boat. So right here I've got L6, this is the one we're going to be using. And uh, so ideally you're going to want three people to bring it down, but we're going to show you with only two people because that's all we have at the moment. So you guys can get a feel for it. So we're just going to take it out, bring it down onto the dock, and then we'll take it from there. boat down here we're gonna to want to remember the most important thing put our plugs in so normally there's one in the back and one inside the cockpit this is the one for the back it's usually white and has little little pieces on there that can be found inside the cockpit usually when you take it out and just drop it in when you're done so so far this one comes to the back there's a little white hole slide that in and twist until it's secure and that should keep all the water out of your hull same thing for the cockpit one It'll be tied on with a little bit of rubber or cork, and you just slide that one into the hole as best you can. It's a lot easier if you clear any uh, pine needles or leaves around there, and so that'll be a lot smoother fit. All right, so now we can go get our supplies. So the first things that we're gonna wanna get is our three spar pieces. So this is gonna be the two sections of mask that we put together to create the mast, and our boom. So we're gonna go ahead and pull these out, and then bring them on down to the boat, all right? Okay, so now we're in the pram shed, and this is where you can find all of the laser equipment and a lot of the equipment for most of the other boats. So here we took L6, so we're going to find the L6 labeled bucket. And so what this has is we've got our sail in here, and we're, we're going to want to grab that. And we've also got three pieces of rope up here, so we're going to grab all three of these, head on down to the boat, and then come back for more. Okay, so we're back here, and uh, the next two things we're going to grab is the tiller and tiller extension and the rudder. So we're gonna have these two in one hand, we're gonna head on over to this corner, and if you look at the bottom here, we have a lot of dagger boards lined up here, so you're just gonna wanna grab one. They're not really labeled, so they can go with any boat, because they're all the same. You wanna grab this out of here, and carry this on down to the boat, and then we can just get right onto rigging. All right, so now we're gonna take the two biggest pieces of mast that we brought here, and we're gonna kind of fit them one into the other. So this side goes into here, and it should go all the way like that. So you wanna make sure you get the two biggest ones, and you don't get the boom with all the pulleys on it, all right? Now that we have our mast put together, we're gonna to wanna to unroll our sail, go to the bottom, and find the little opening in the sleeve along the front of the sail. We're gonna take this, take the tip of our mast, and kind of slide one over the other and just pull all the way down. When you do this, it's helping if your gooseneck is all the way at the bottom, because then your sail will go on nice and straight. Okay, so now that our sail is on our mast, we're gonna wanna stand the mast up and then put it into our boat. So first, this is a lot easier with two people, but if you're strong and confident in your muscles, you can do this by yourself. the mast up just like this it's a lot helpful it's really helpful if you grab it high and low like this pick it straight up carefully walk over and drop it right into the hole there you go all right so now we get to the boom so you can tell which side goes into the mast because it has a little hole in it here and so this is where we slide the little pin of the gooseneck which is how it attaches to the mast that's how we put it on Basically, we're just gonna wanna put this over top of the boat, bring it over here, put this little pin up, and slide it right in. This is has a tendency to fall out really easily, so you're gonna wanna try and hold that in with a bit of pressure until we can secure everything else. Okay, so now that we have our boom in, I'm keeping constant pressure against the gooseneck so that it doesn't pop out, and I've got the end of my sail here with our clue tie down attached. So if this doesn't have one of these, either pick a new sail or maybe find some rope and tie it here so that you can make one. So I find this is easiest when it's resting on your shoulder like this. You pull the clue tie down around here and you can just tie the end of your sail down like this with a reef knot. Now that we've got uh, the sail attached to the boom, we're going to want to choose one of our two smaller ropes. I'm going to choose the orange one and we're going to use this to tie 
as our outhaul to the back of our sail and then into our boom to keep our sail pulled out against the, um, against the boom here. So we're just going to do this with the bowling. Bring this to the other end, back through this little fair lead, all the way through. Pull it along the boom until you find this little cleat right here. So you've got to take the end of this, put it through here. Sometimes you might have to twist it a little bit so that it goes through because they're not always that cooperative. And there we go. Pull that through, tie an eight knot right here. And make sure if there's enough tension, just push it down into here. Something I like to do is just to wrap the slack around here and tuck it under so that you don't have it hanging all in your face when you're sailing. So that's that, all good. All right, so now we're gonna take the other one of our smaller two ropes and use this as our Cunningham. So it's kind of a funny word, but basically it's another word for downhole, which just pulls down on our sail so it doesn't fly up the mast. So right now we're gonna take this with another bowlin, tie it here, just like this. Make sure this is nice and tight. Bring it down along the mast here into this little fair lead at the base of the mast and up to this little cleat here. Again, it might take a little bit of caressing to get it go, to go through. And then again, tie an eight knot because it's pretty good practice to always tie eight knots at the end of your lines. Just like that, push it into the cleat. Another thing we can do while we're down here is put our boom vang in. So this is gonna be nice and loose like this. We're gonna to wanna to put it so that this pin slides in here pretty easily. And then we can tighten it up with, by pulling this and then pulling up so it gets caught in this cleat here. So this will keep our boom from flying up in heavy weather. All right, that's that. And then let's move on to the main sheet. Okay, now for the main sheet. So this is the biggest rope of all of them and the longest. And this is what helps you pull your sail in and out when you're out on the water. So we're gonna wanna take one end of this, throw the rest of the slack inside our cockpit find our main pulley, our main block here, and put it in so that when you pull it back into the boat, it'll click. All right, so that means you're, you're putting it through the right way. So you pull this, we're gonna wanna grab our boom and bring it over here. First, put it through the first little pulley. This fair lead, which keeps it from dangling too low when you're sailing and getting caught on you. Back to this one down here. Making sure it's not caught on anything. You can give yourself a little bit of slack. Bring it down. Now this is the traveler. So this is gonna go back and forth across here with your boom movements. You're gonna wanna bring it in from the back and all the way up. And there should be a little slot here where you can force this in. And again, tie an eight knot so that it doesn't come through and you don't lose control of the boat. So this is pretty important. There you go, and let that rest right here. Now another thing you're gonna to wanna to do right away so you don't forget is tie another eight knot at the end of this so this end doesn't go through either and you don't lose control this way. So grab this end and tie another eight knot just like that. When you're sailing, you're gonna to wanna to hold this down from here and not here because this will give you a lot better control. Okay, so now we can uh, put our rudder on and slide it into the water. Okay, so now we're gonna take our rudder and slide it into the back of our boat. First, when you get your rudder, it's gonna look like this, which is how it should be when you go sailing in the water, but we're gonna wanna flip it up like this so that when it's on land, it'll be easier to put in. So we take these and line these two pins up here with the two little slots on the back here, doing them both at the same time and then push down until you hear that click of this little thing in. To take this off when you're done, you're just gonna wanna push this clip in and pull and wiggle the rudder out. All right, so you can let this go gently now and then we'll go get the tiller. Now that we have our tiller, there's something really important we have to remember with this and even I forget sometimes, is that when you put this under into the rudder, you wanna have this piece underneath the traveler rope and this piece over top. So we're gonna lift this up, slide it underneath, slide this right into the rudder here, leave this rope loose for now, and there should be a pin on the back 
with a hole through here that goes straight in and that'll secure this from coming out. The reason we want to put it under here is so that when our traveler goes back and forth, it's not going to get caught on anything. It just goes right back and forth over top. Okay, so at this point I would put the boat in the water, but just for demonstration, I'm just going to show you what it's going to be like on land. So, what you're going to want to do after your boat is in the water, you're going to want to hop on and take your centerboard or daggerboard and slide it into this slot here and tilt it a little bit forward so it slides back a little bit. Now it's not going to go all the way down because it's resting on the dock and so it's not going to go all the way down. Usually it'll go down to about here. So now we're going to want to take this bungee, wrap it around here and, and bring it back and clip it on to here. What this is going to do is this is going to let us keep our, our uh, daggerboard in the same spot without it coming up all the time. All right, the last thing that we need to do is make sure when it's in the water to pull on this rope. What this rope is going to do is it's going to pull our rudder that we previously had up like this, pull it straight down like this into the water so that it's a lot easier to steer. And then when you're done with that, you're going to want to cleat it right around this cleat here and you'll be done. So that's about it. All right, thanks for coming out to our rigging guide. Hope this really helped. Uh, this is put together by me and Alex Nemo, and uh, so just hope this helped. Now you should be totally set to go out and have some fun in the water. Thanks for watching. Go have some fun.